Hello and welcome to the temp tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we'll be looking at, looking, not loving at, <laughs> looking at live mouse input. The previous part we looked at live keyboard input. We'll be using the source code from part 3. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Live mouse input is very similar to live keyboard input in that it doesn't require anything to be instantiated and use static functions. This type of mouse input will be useful, for example, in a game that you need the mouse to look around the scene, as it will be a lot smoother than using events which have to pull the input every time using a while loop like we've done here. But obviously this serves a certain purpose as well, such as like closing window events, that's a generic sort of functionality of resizing. So to check for mouse input, we're just going to do if SF mouse is button pressed and in here we put SF mouse left and we're just going to print out a little message in the log and that's going to say left mouse button is being pressed so fire 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 STD in line and now we can run our application so let's just move it and now I'm going to keep it pressed as you can see even even when I'm tapping it it's initiates this if statement a lot and the reason is because it's live input it's doing it like every single frame which is obviously what we want for some sort of smooth gameplay uh, we can also get the position of the mouse which could be used for the example mentioned earlier to move the camera perhaps the first method to is to get it relative to the screen so what we're going to do well, uh, yeah we're just going to do std c out I'm going to do SF mouse get position dot x. I'm just getting the x value, but again, the y value simply just change that to a y. Sorry about that. Just a little notification on my phone. Restart. Okie dokie, as it is constantly getting it because it's not being pulled, it's, it is constantly getting it. So as you can see, it is relative to the screen size. So it doesn't matter actually where I move my window, uh, this value here will always be the same. And if I move here, this value here again will still always be the same. The second method is to get relative to the actual window itself. And that's probably what you're most likely going to be using. So what we're gonna do is comment this out. We're gonna do STD, C out, SAF mouse, get position and for the window uh, position just pass in the, the window variable put dot x std and line and now if we just run this we get getting and it's relative to the window so zero is here and we get 600 over here but if I move this so getting zero here and getting 600 here. But if I maybe off screen, it goes into minuses on the left. And uh, if I maybe off screen to the right, I go into a value higher than the screen width or screen height if I was using the Y value. Finally, we will go over setting the mouse position. The first method will cover setting the mouse position relative to the screen. So what we're gonna do is SF mouse set position SF vector to I and we'll put 40 50 and as you can see where it is even though I'm moving the mouse here it's print it's printing it out as minus 308 and they, the reason for that is, you can see the mouse is flickering as well, it is basically positioning it right here where the file button is. That's the reason that keeps getting highlighted and uh, you can also set it relative to the window and for that you just pass in the window afterwards and it is literally that simple, not going to really run it because 
it's that simple. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at live joystick input. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.